Do 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 Sharing, sharing is caring. Come join us for dinner live. I don't know. I sometimes you feel like you don't want to share it, and then. You said maybe one person will see it and watch it, you know? Or they say we're gonna do the link again? Yeah, what 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 the hell? Can't matter. What you are gonna do again? Good afternoon to each and everyone out there in Radio Land. I mean <laughs> YouTube Land. <laughs> Anika, good afternoon yeah, from afternoon. Melbourne, Australia. Australia is in the house. I don't know I don't know what's the greeting for Australians though. They, they what do they say? Howdy? Do they say howdy in Australia? I mean, I don't know. Oh, welcome to our oh, yeah. welcome to our channel, Australia. guys. If it's the first time that you're, oh, I'm sorry. No, I'm saying I like Australian accent a lot. I don't know how to say it, but good day. That's what they say. Good day. day. Yes. Good day. Okay. Brandy, Brandy's asking good day. Good day. Brandy. Yes. Good day. Hi, Brandy. Big up yourself, guys. If it's the first time that you're watching our lives, we we really appreciate it if you would click the thumb up. Um, the thumbs up button so that we, you know, YouTube will see that you love our Jamaican content, our crazy content. And also, please, if you can share our channel with your friends, your family, please do so. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers and we are just at 94,000 and we're moving ahead full steam. And so, guys, we appreciate every single person who would uh, share our channel and we're garnering your support. We're thanking you so much for your support. Today we are making a, a purple stratton, 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 stratton. Yeah. Uh, strong. Strong, strong. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get it. Yeah, strong. I think that's it. Um, yeah. Welcome to our dinner live. We're trying to do something unusual today. So today I was planning to make a, 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 a poke bowl. All right. This is the, the, the Hawaiian specialty where they use the ahi tuna and, you know, eat it raw, cut, um, marinate it in a, a, some nice sauce and dressing and thing and thing. And, and, and that would have been awesome. Great. Hey, supernatural. But somehow or the other, I just felt like I didn't want to eat no raw fish in the night. Yet. And I know my wife has an affinity to raw fish. So affinity. affinity. What that mean? Affinity means you don't really like it, right? Somebody check it. I check what affinity means. Well, she don't have an affinity. Yeah. No, I think I think. Check check the word, please. Thank you. Anyway. So she don't check the word. Like she not affinity she, definition. She not just Here's the definition of affinity: a spontaneous or natural liking or sympathy for someone or something. Oh, See? so she doesn't have any type of liking. For the Pokeball. I think I, 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 I got the word though, you know? Yeah, so I don't have an affinity for it. Yeah, yeah. I think you're cutting those two thick. Thick? Yeah, they could be thinner. I like my stuff thin, you know? Yeah. Anyway, so guys. So we decided, I, I said to myself, I said, Self, there must be a way to get that, that ahi tuna vibe going without the tuna. Hence, ta ta da da Watermelon, yeah. <laughs> so, guys, I'm gonna be doing a vegan version of the same thing. It's watermelon poke. Now, I looked up poke, um, the Hawaiian word poke, and it's P-O-K-E without the little something. That most people put a little something on it. You know, put a little something. Okay. I'm using the sweet part, friendly. If you don't use the something, then it's poke. Yeah, but the, the Hawaiians, them saying I feel the something. Mm. All right. So the word poke is basically talking about um, cutting up, cutting, cutting things into squares or something like that. 
It has nothing to do with what exactly it is that you cut up, as long as you cut it up and do it like how them do it. So you can have whatever as a poke or a poke, whatever. Mm -hmm. So we're going to use watermelon, guys. Now, let me give you a quick story. I know some people are here for the cooking. Please bear with us. You know, let me give you a quick story. I went to my local supermarket. In my case, it's Publix. And they had watermelon slices. Four or five slices of watermelon for $4.35 or thereabouts, depending on the weight. Then I checked wedges, like quarters. They had a quarter of a watermelon for $4.19, depending on the weight. So I was going to buy just a quarter because, again, we, it's just me and I. We're just going to, you know, do a thing. And, guys, we buck up on a full watermelon. I want somebody to guess and tell me how much this watermelon will cost in Publix. Somebody please guess and tell me while I, I go about cutting it up. How much the watermelon costs in a Publix? The full watermelon. You will be like, pow, you're in my shop. So, um, Frandy, ding, 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 ding. Frandy, got it. You got it, Frandy. You hit the nail on the head. So it was more expensive. Maybe the bigger ones usually. Because so public man, they're not. See, see, I don't think you need to do. See, that's that's way too much. No, so we have to eat. Yeah, but with anyway. oh, well, I'm guys. Let me turn this camera around because this young lady I look like she look at it. Look how much. Look up. She doing one entire English cucumber. One whole entire cucumber. Who are gonna eat half all of that? Me? No, sir. Some goat be a very small. May I tell you some goat feeding be a very small. May I tell you that straight. Right? And guys, when you buy the watermelon, like you, you buy it in Publix or in the supermarket, between the, you bringing it home to the next day, watermelon no good. Um, cucumber no good. I don't know what's going on. The cucumber, they might run some avocado joke. You understand? So, guys. I am going to use up some of this watermelon for the purposes of my poke bowl. And, um, you know, you pretty much want to find a point where you can cut up any watermelon. And if it not cut all the way perfect, don't worry about it. All right? You did your best. That's all you have to do. So, watermelon don't stay that long in my house. I must tell you all that. So, look at that, guys. And again, it's really and truly I wanted the one with seeds, but our pits, yeah, no seed run here. The ones with pits, but in lieu of that, we're going to use the ones that we find. All right. I know some people say, don't buy watermelon, seedless watermelon. But um, where we're working with our app right now, yeah. Okay. You wanna? Let me test it first. Take here, take here, take here. This? Yeah. Cut up this for you? Or you're cutting it? I'm cutting it. Oh. Oh, it's sweet, baby. Here we go. Oh, mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, so. Yeah, I forgot. Put this away. So the watermelon is pretty sweet. Let me get into my live chat. Web Venture, good afternoon to you, sir. Hi, I'm Web Venture. That's guys, Web Venture is Joshua. And you can say hello to Joshua. Joshua is our son. For those who don't know, he's away at college. And we appreciate him logging on this evening. Where's the little period knife, please? So, Web Venture, we are making poke bowls. Um, but we're using watermelon instead of tuna. I mean, also now that you're, you're, in, you're in big company with your, with your college friend, then, you eat, they, um, you, would, you want tuna and them something there. But, alrighty. So guys, you want to get down and into the nitty gritty. Take off um, as much of the skin as you can. Just get out some of the skin after the watermelon. Okay. And 
and um, then mega chop it up. All right. Are you putting rice? Yes, I am putting rice. <laughs> so you course. want to cut it in cubes, <laughs> and you want to make it in cut it into comfortable cubes. You know, maybe a half inch thick. And the sweeter the watermelon for this purpose is, is the better it's going to be because it's going to become a savory dish. You're going to turn it into a savory dish. All right. Now, them parts that were round up already with us, give the wife if you eat because we wow. don't want them round up. <laughs> <laughs> why me? Why me? <laughs> All right. So, hi Anika, good evening. Ideally, this is how you want your 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 poke, um, your watermelon um, squares to be. All right. Let me see if we can do a quick cut now. So, other than watermelon and um, the traditional tuna. Do you have any other ideas as to what else you could use or you would be interested to use for pokeball? I mean, uh, wow, that's a, that's a good question because this, guys, is my first time um, making this attempt. Mm -hmm. So I would, I would definitely want to research it a little bit more, mm -hmm. you know, before I, 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 because at the end of the day, because the, the tuna is the original thing, you don't want your poke bowl to, to look too different mm -hmm. you know you want it to look like almost like the tuna what about salmon oh definitely i mean i mean if i, I thought you were talking vegetables mm -hmm. um no no you can use salmon you can use salmon you can use lobster mm. you know some but, people but you have to use it raw that's the whole idea the whole idea yeah oh. <clears throat> and I mean, someone, someone, um, I don't know. Therein lies the problem, you guys. Therein lies the problem. I don't know if you have to make it raw. Guys, you can tell us. Friend, these are hearts of palm. Maybe. If you want to go vegan. Maybe. Mm-hmm. Tofu? Right, let me... All right, that's a different thing. Tofu, yeah, to some extent. <laughs> but again, some of these things, it just take away from the yeah. whole vibe of the thing. Really. I rinse it out and use it again. Okay. So you want it to mimic it either in look or our texture or you know and yeah. what can can deal with this the, the seasoning too. Oh because this the, the type of seasoning where the where definitely you have to get something we can manage. So regardless of whatever you use, you still have to keep the same basic yeah, seasoning same, elements. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Got you. Green jackfruit, um, friendly green jackfruit. No, let me tell you why not green jackfruit. I wouldn't use green jackfruit because it, it's stringy. There's more applications to green jackfruit than that because you have to find a way to get the green jackfruit cooked to some extent so that it can it's manageable. You know, it, it green jackfruit will present quite a challenge. Mm -hmm. There's still more in this, guys. Can't it. <laughs> Scarceness is coming around the corner, guys. <laughs> yeah, call them scarcity for people. You know, you know said there might be a war looming, and if that happens, then gas price is gonna go up, food price is gonna go up, and the stock market can potentially crash <laughs> or be um severely affected. So I'm gonna see. They don't want to eat out the watermelon. Me, you Jamaica about. The people they must start go back to go eat greens and beans and everything there. Cause food shortage will come. Mm -hmm. And if you look in the stores, guys, you will realize that in most stores now, you have a whole lot of empty shelves. I went to Publix a while ago and there were empty shelves in Publix. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Woman go the other day and say one oh, oh. I Aldi. think it was no, it was Walmart. Yeah. Trust I'm gonna say ghost town on one of the shelf. That's what's going on. Guys, just a word of advice. Every time you go to the supermarket, if you have an extra two dollars, pick up an extra can of something. Something. Whether it's sardine or mackerel or of course you can't buy corned beef. <laughs> but if your pocket can go up to corned beef. 
Palm beef. All right. Okay. So we're done with our watermelon. And here you have it. Let me just show y'all. This is the watermelon. Now we're gonna grab our other bowl. And the poke bowl, guys, is almost like a rice bowl. Um, that's a general rice bowl. A lot of different people use rice bowl, you know, um, and they make it into what they want it to be. So that's pretty much what you're gonna do. You know, you're gonna add your ingredients. The, the general ingredients are, are already prepared, but yeah, you can make it your own by adding little elements, you know. Um, For this one, I want to start with a little bit of ginger paste. A little bit. A little garlic ginger paste. All right? Not too much. Because I'm going to use extra ginger, right? So here's my garlic ginger paste. And I have it in this entire bottle here, guys. This is a very, very, very good um, uh, ingredients here. Garlic ginger with a little bit of pepper, a little bit of apple cider vinegar. And the whole of that that's made into a paste, all right? So then you're going to add a little bit of soy sauce. And I'm using, um, we have, we have the, the lighter soy sauce, babes. From the store. Because <laughs> this one is you super duper it? thick. Wow, we have a package one. Oh, the one that we tea from the store? No, the ones that is left over from where we tea. Me your tea for tea from the store. <laughs> so guys, we have some soy sauce here. You see, when you go to the store, don't sleep on the soy sauce, man. Tell them that. Let me turn the camera down so you can see a little bit more of what's going on in my bowl. Yeah, when I go to the store, do not steal, do not sleep on these soy sauce packages. All right? But the one that I have there over there is a thick version of the mushroom soy sauce. And I don't think I wanted that thick version, you know? I could have added a little water to it, but... You know, I don't want to right now. I want to get the pure essence, all right? So let's see what happens, all right? May I use two of the little package of soy sauce? Two of the little packages of soy sauce right there. All right. And then I have, you could use apple cider vinegar or any other vinegar, but I have some Chinese vinegar. And the Chinese vinegar, even though it is is black, it is not, um, it is not, uh salty at all it's uh um, it's a little bit on the sweet side so it's really really perfect to use good evening monique how are you girl yes this is an interesting one i have some pure sesame oil and sesame oil have that nice nutty flavor you can use maybe about a tablespoon of sesame sesame seed oil And I have some vegetable oil. This is um, this is an oil blend of sunflower and olive oil. Um, and we don't use vegetable oil because when you go and buy vegetable oil, it's really soya, soya bean oil them selling. And you don't use um, we don't use canola oil either. And because I had told you guys that I'm, it's a jerk, I, I'm adding a little bit of a jerk seasoning, yeah? Just to keep my Jamaican elements tonight, I'm using the powdered one. If you have the bottled one, you can use that as well. And this is the mild seasoning I'm using because the wifey is very, 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 very sensitive. <laughs> She's sensitive. And I'm adding some sugar. Albeit the, 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 the um, watermelon is going to be sweet, so you don't really need a bunch of sugar. But, you know, you want blend. You want it to blend it nicely. Blend it nicely, you guys. Blend it nicely. And um, we did have, um, we did have sesame seed. But somewhere there that the sesame seed got misplaced. I don't know what happened to it. So we're using some everything bagel, which is pretty much sesame seed, black and white sesame seeds with um a little bit of um garlic powder and, and little stuff no garlic powder like 
dried garlic, dried onion, and then something there. So we just add in some of that. Awesome. Awesome. Let me just um I can't find the, the, the spatula thingy. Build, build, no? The little spatula thingy. Yeah. Build? Yeah, why are you taking my stuff? She always takes my stuff. <laughs> Alright, so we just mix it you now. Press it together. <laughs> <laughs> So you just want to mix in this and I'm go of course I'm going to taste it to make sure it wants a little salt. Mm. And I'm going to use regular table salt. Wait, you have some Himalayan salt yesterday? Himalayan? This is Himalayan salt in this grinder right there. Oh. We're using Himalayan sea salt, but you can use whatever salt you so choose. Yeah. Now you have two different style of poke, guys. You, you have the one with that you use with the with the um with the oil and the, the soy sauce and all of that. And then you have the one that you also use with the uh uh, uh mushroom. No mo what am I saying? With the mayonnaise. Yeah, I so think I like this one. Me no man, you don't like anything. I'm putting a little bit more of the, the, the thicker mayonnaise, the thicker soy sauce. I'm just going all over the place, guys. Bear with me. Let me taste it again. All right. Now most Asian, most Asian food, and this is Polynesian because it's, it's um Hawaiian. Most of them try to go umami with sweet and salty and so on everything. Spicy, sour, sweet, salty, everything in a one. So we're gonna pick up on that. And I have here half a lime or lemon. We we'll use the lemon in this case. We must stop. And I'm squeezing my lemon in there to give it a tangy vibe. So this is just half of a lemon. Depending on your personal taste, you can add more. Let me just grab out the, 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 the pits. So I'm not say seed. We don't really say seed power program. Really? No, I'm not saying it. I didn't say it. Awesome. And you want this to, you want this to sort of amalgamate a little bit. You want the oil to, what do you call it? What do you call this when you, when you mix oil and water? There's oh, a term for it. it. Emulsify. Right. If you have a whisk, you could have used your whisk. You know, me no want whisk. Me no want to accept the whisk. Then I'm gonna add some garlic. No, ginger. This is this is more ginger. Yeah, and that's just fresh ginger that I chopped up earlier. Then I'm gonna add some sweet onions. And this is um Vidalia onion. Add that. So the, the, the gist of the whole thing is the sauce. That's the, that's yeah, the pretty biggest. much. Yeah, pretty much. Because if, if you were using tuna, that would be raw tuna over there. Right, right, right. You know, with nothing added, you know. Mm -hmm. And I have some scallions. And I always use at least leave back a little of a scallion. Yeah, I see there. I want it a little bit thicker, so I might add. Um, oh, let me tell you one thing when we never add chili, chili, um, pepper, pepper, pepper. Where mm -hmm. are I need the chili peppers, I need it right now. Oh, I need Thank you, it. Thank you. You know what? The, the pepper flakes, red pepper flakes. Is there some more there, man? In a red, red top bottle. 
It's in a red top box. So it's right here. Got it. Got it, guys. And you just put in some pepper flakes. You know, this here. And guys, you really want to get that sauce nice and toasty. I think I have too little of a soya sauce in there though. I think I need more soya sauce. I'm gonna use a little of my um, general, my general sauce. Just a little. Again, this is this is a deviate deviant, but guys, you know it got ready. You know it got ready, right? You do what you can, you turn your hand and make fashion. And that is our our nice and juicy poke sauce. <laughs> you keep smiling when I say poke, right? That poke does sound funny. <laughs> Who does that? Who says that? Okay. Alright, that's good. And guys, I can imagine, you can imagine if this was going over tuna, how this would have nice. Hmm? If this was going over a bowl of tuna, but this is what it's going over today. And guys, you want to start by just pouring your sauce over your watermelon for those persons who have gone on a meat hiatus mm -hmm. this is a beautiful and refreshing way to enjoy yourself some watermelon it, it smells so good guys it smells like chinese food let me see what the if the folks are talking They're intently watching, so they're not talking. They are not. They're not speaking. No. Because they're intently watching. Mm -hmm. That's what you're saying, right, guys? We're not intently watching the process to see where I'm going with this dish. Look what something look like. Look how it look like tuna. I mean, it look like raw tuna for real, for real. Look there. It look exactly like raw tuna, guys. No look there. Where you got that idea? I was just fooling around because I told you I have a piece of tuna in my fridge and I wanted to, I just wanted something different for dinner. Mm -hmm. And I, I fool around and I said, but I said, in the evening, I'm going to really want to can the, the raw tuna. So I said, how can I get a poke bowl going with, you know, a little bit of effort and, and get the vibe there still? And this is what I came up with, you know, and I saw a couple examples of this on YouTube and I decided to run with it. And guys, I am fascinated by it. I can't wait. You want to taste it, baby? Yes. I do. You're brave I enough? Do. I do. Yep. Turn the camera on you. Turn the camera, girl. <laughs> Come, click it, click it. Here you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's gonna try it for the first. Mm -mm. Nice. <laughs> we get pizza ginger. <laughs> it's really good. So you're gonna lick off the, the spoon. <laughs> it really good. It really good for you. It pepper. Mm -hmm. No. It want like a pepper then. No, I don't need no more. It want the pepper. Hold the camera for me, darling. It doesn't need any more. Make put a little pepper own. sauce. Just a little bit of pepper sauce. Just the regular. Oh. Why do you put more pepper? Ah, uh, seaweed, baby. I knew there was something yes. that was missing. Yes. Uh, I knew there was something I that, I was that was missing. I thought it was supposed to go in the bowl. Seaweed. I didn't know it was supposed to go in that. No, it's supposed to go in the bowl. It's supposed oh, to go in. No, it's supposed to go in this. Okay. It's supposed to go in this. I'm just putting a little Tabasco. Nothing more than a little Tabasco. Tabasco not really hot, you know, because the white people, them. The American palate, you know, them love Tabasco, but mm -hmm. it's not really that hot. Okay. All right, guys. So, just adding a little Tabasco just to mellow out the flavors a little bit more. 
And then the seaweed is very part, important. Very important part of, of the dish. Mm -hmm. Here I'm using this. Let me this, see the package. So I can show I'm it. using the, the roasted seaweed snack. Mm -hmm. Guys, you wouldn't believe how healthy this is. You guys probably need to get um, used to the taste if you're not used to it. It has like a fishy taste, correct? Um, swim around, swim around. <laughs> no fishy, nothing around here. But seaweed snacks? Guys, if this is not a super food, I don't know what is. It's very good. So this is called nori. Mm -hmm. Yeah? And um, yeah, you just want to add some nori. All right, and blend them in again. Mm -hmm. Look at that, look at that, guys. And the seaweed will 100% give you that, that um, sumeron vibe or that fish vibe mm -hmm. from this dish. And normally they would just leave this to marinate for an hour or so. But because you're dealing with watermelon, it absorbs pretty easily. Yeah. If it was a tuna now, it definitely would. Right. And then, by leaving it in a marinade, it would help to almost cook. Yeah, so it yeah. would help to. Acid, acid and then something there. Yes, the sauce would help to cook the tuna, or make it, you know, appear to be cooked. Right. -o. Yes. Oh, it looks so far, guys. Are you guys watching? Everybody's loving it. I see the thumbs up going. Mm -hmm. Let me grab a bowl. Let me grab one of the bowls and see if we can. Do, do I look a plate in for you guys? And I told you, quick and easy. And you guys, anybody would, would be interested in trying this? Trust me, if you're not very open to certain things, you mm -hmm. won't. Because I don't know if I would think of doing this. For real? I don't know if I would think of putting seasonings and sauces on watermelon. Probably would think it's absurd. That's why I'm so surprised at how nice it is. <laughs> nice man. But you know what? Over the years, you have grown to trust um, that what I'm doing. Put it over here. That mm -hmm. what I'm doing is is somewhat workable. Mm -hmm. You know. So, babes, you're gonna do the the, the, the plate. Mm -mm. Why not? Oh, right, well. <laughs> the rice under the bottom. Yeah. All right. I'll do it. I can do it. I can do it. First of all, the disclaimer about Hold the on, rice. I could go, go show you what I'm going with the rice over here, so. Guys, this rice, usually they use white rice, I think. Yeah, tell them what is in it. What but, is in but this? But we have here a combination of bulgur with um, gungo or pigeon peas. We also have quinoa, which is the multicolored quinoa. Mm -hmm. And we also have some yellow rice. So, hey. It's what we have. We're using. <laughs> we use what we have. Yeah. Mm. Ah, the belly style. The poke, there's something just good, my girl. Mm-hmm. But now I don't answer. So we don't need to fill up the bowl, right? Because you need room to put the, the, the stuff. Pull it, shut up. <laughs> put everything on one thing? No, just, just, yeah, that's good, that's good. Oh. You know me already like when it's full up. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go over here now. And you can start assembling your bowl. And guys, for the assembly of the bowl now, what you want to do is you want to add all the elements. All right. So I'm going to work on this. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Forgot that that was supposed to be sliced. All right, so we have here which is um, very popular in poke bowls. We have edamame. Yes. Uh, edamame, guys, is soya bean. Mm -hmm. So, just want them know. All right, so we're just draining that a little bit before we add it to our bowl. Right? Right. <laughs> all right so put it over one side also like such here don't put that thing last and then we have our cucumbers which i'm gonna put on the other side of town just because they're in the same color family so i'm sort of with and guys as you know every time you go to the store to buy avocado Especially them little one from 
from uh, Mexico. Mm -hmm. It's a Russian Mexico roulette. Arrows from Mexico. <laughs> you understand? It's Russian roulette you're playing because half of them are good. Them spoiling a one day. I don't, know what, I don't know what the world is coming to right now. Everything spoils so quick. May I tell you? Even though it's not necessarily a bad sign because sometimes it, we used to complain so the things they're not spoiled. So them no, fake. No man, but it, 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 it's indicative of, of things being artificial that they must spoil so quick. It's like a, some green, some baby wrong avocado them just swell up and you know. Alright, so we have the can you guys see? We have oh, yes, the yes, edamame yes, yes, yes. and we have the dot. So next we're gonna put the pasta resistance, which is the use use uh, another spoon, darling. I don't want the juices. Oh, the you don't want the, ju the juice? Well, eventually we're gonna drizzle a little bit of the juice, over right? Mm, I'll use this. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, this is better. That's better. <laughs> All right, so nice. come over here. No, nobody can couldn't tell me that that's not um tuna for real, for real. And it smells exactly like <laughs> the traditional tuna poke bowl. I've had it before. One time. And this is the exit. I think you nailed the, the, the whole seasoning blend. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's take a video. Okay. Wow. You might want to get one with the nori on it. You can put a little nori after. Okay. All right. So, so that's good. enough. And then the avocados. And then. That looks so good. Have a car there. Have a car there? Yeah. It's not so. Oh, the more technique when you used to slice up this, that makes it. Oh, you do that. Oh, remember you have the the the, the um the tomatoes too. Mm -hmm. Oh, and we also had this. But I don't think you want to put it. How are we looking so far, guys? You like what, what, what go on? Monique says it's looking good. I'm gonna make, um, again, if you're vegan, you're gonna use, um, you know, vegan based mayonnaise. But if you're not, be, be quiet. If you're not, <laughs> what will happen is you're gonna want to, you know, do this. So you're, I'm using some of the, the peppers and a little mayonnaise and I'm making a sriracha mayonnaise. See that? Just pepper and mayonnaise. We have our avocado fun. Avocado from Mexico. Mm -hmm. What else we have? The tomato. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're gonna spoon on just a little bit of tomato. And these are multicolored um grape tomatoes. Why don't you why don't you use regular rice? Joshua. Have? Because we have this. Time's rough. We're using what we have. We're we'll turning and make fashion. Oh wow, guys! Guys, look for our guanya. So look, look on this. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. Look at that, guys. Look at this. This is our poke bowl. Mm -hmm. It's so delicious. And then you just wanna hold this baby. You're supposed to have a spicy mayo sauce for poke. See, I told you. Who said that? Who said that? Web venture, Josh. I told you. Don't Josh. See, Josh, I know the thing. And then you just 
drizzle some of this mm -hmm. one with with one with the nori and the something mm -hmm. you drizzle some of the sauce over on everything and then you get your spicy meal you need to buy a drizzle you know? is there you a need to buy a drizzler what do you use normally drizzle stuff them use this for yeah. me i do yeah oh. Ooh. Ooh. look more. at that look at that you don't need them no i'm gonna need no more okay Guys, what do you all think? Huh? Do you Hi, think, Munchie. Good evening to you. Do you think we did it? Do you think we nailed this one? Hmm? Do you think we did a good job with this one? Please let us know. Mm -hmm. Munchie. Really? So what are you saying? Stop eating healthy? Is that what you're suggesting? <laughs> so Munchie, <laughs> you try it and see if your belly move. Mm -hmm. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> you try the healthy food and see if your belly move. Cause guess what? If me never did I eat healthy, it's worse. Thank God say me I eat healthy. <laughs> yes. So this is our finished product, guys. And um guys, you got to try this one in your neck of the woods. Mm -hmm. I promise you, it's worth trying. Yeah? The, the wa spicy watermelon, it tastes so good. Mm -hmm. It tastes so good. Yeah, and people that think you're meat, anybody join us late and don't really tackle them that thinks you're meat. <laughs> For real. We eventually say at this point become vegan. <laughs> we eventually leave me alone. Boy. We eventually. You wish Wherever for a year. I hear you at talk on the radio. <laughs> um, when are you making jerk chicken? Whenever you want it. Munchie, <clears throat> when me talk on the radio is when me talk on the radio. Leave me alone, Munchie. Leave me alone in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. You understand? <laughs> so, guys, this is our dinner for this evening. Mm -hmm. It's our dinner for this evening. And um, we really and truly want you guys to really and truly step out of the box. And try something new, try something different. You understand? Mm -hmm. Who would who could tell that that this is not wa um tuna? Mm -hmm. You know? And with the different stuff in it, may I promise you, it's worth trying. You understand? Mm -hmm. And this, I am, the sauce is the is the winner. Like that sauce from the watermelon that you pour on it, mm -hmm. that adds a lot of flavor to the whole bowl. So yeah. it's gonna be delicious. Yeah. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try some. He going to taste test his watermelon, guys. Try my watermelon, yeah. I'm put my little oh, pear in it. Put little mm -hmm. rice. Yes. Put little my quinoa. Thank you guys so much for the thumbs up. You guys have been awesome with the thumbs up. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And guys, yeah. While you're here, let me remind you of the importance of getting your one-day detox. If you And guys, thanks to everybody who have been ordering. People have been ordering four and five at one time. You know, them probably just stocking up so that they get to use it back to back without mm -hmm. having to, you know, pay shipping every single time that they're ready. Which is Makes recommended sense. every month or every two months mm -hmm. to take the, what, um, the washout or the, the detox. And we are shipped far too. We now ship near. Yeah, some far we place. ship in all over the place, in and out of the US. But the the one day detox is great because of the fact that it is all natural. Mm -hmm. The ingredients are nothing but a blend of herbs and water. No preservative, no additive. Everything on here is you know our is stuff that you guys are familiar with. If you grow, especially if you grow with your granny. You would already have been getting these teas, whether you're moringa tea, your sour sapley tea, you drink your um aloe vera, 
leaf of life you name it it's in this blend drink the entire bottle and almost immediately you will have a trip to the bathroom and um multiple throughout the day yeah well this is my bowl i have a little bit of edam edamami i have a little cucumber little of my rice um quinoa bulga mix and avocado and everything trust me mm -hmm. and i drizzle a little bit of sauce on it mm -hmm. you're the crunch man the flavors them man mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no it made the food refreshing you would not believe Beef, mm -hmm. it is very good with the rice. Mm -hmm. I will find out in a little bit because I'm going to eat my food. Mm -hmm. Watermelon and rice. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Crazy. Yes, once you drink the entire bottle yeah. one time. The entire bottle one time. Eight ounces. Mm. Nice, eh? It's very nice. Babes, come taste this. Hold on. Let me get a spoon. Let me get a spoon for you. One good spoon. Come. Mm -hmm. Taste that. Wow. Mm-hmm. You miss meat? Mm-mm. Okay. I'll give me it done. I'm gonna taste a little spice kick now. Mm -mm. Like the space, the, sp the spice that marinade into the mm -mm. watermelon. Nice. I'm gonna do this on Friday. This is good. Really? Yeah, and just offer a little, a little bowl to people. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, guys, Yari Belly has started his vegan fry, um, Plant Power Fridays. And last week's Plant Power Friday was a success. You know, people have been ordering their, their meals. And it was so delicious. All the reviews that came in, all the, the messages that we received, everybody was raving about the food. So yeah. Guys, me now I don't talk. This is absolutely delicious. Mm-hmm. Trust me, me call Tracy. Mm-hmm. Let me come It's worth awesome. having. Babes, you have to go wrap it up in a car. I'm not get up in a mm -hmm. No, me listen. <laughs> me go for more food. That's it. Me not really business again. <laughs> Guys, the, the, the watermelon is delicious. You would not believe that you could have a watermelon in such as in a savory form, mm -hmm. but it works. It really works. And with rice, you can imagine if I did white rice, babes, or jasmine rice. Oh, well, I forgot to make it again with jasmine rice. Craving this. <laughs> Remember to check me up on the radio Thursday at 5. Caribbean Radio HD. And guys, we can only say have a good evening. Because. Well, I can't only say that. I mean, I'm not going to say my age. My God. Those are going to be topics Thursday upon the radio about watermelon and rice. You better know. <laughs> you should better call him. <laughs> My God. All right, guys. On behalf of AR the Belly TV, yes, the big chef in town. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys for watching today's dinner live and stay tuned. For oh, guys! Whoa, whoa! What time now? What Seven. happened? In four hours, it will be his birthday! Say happy birthday to AR the Belly TV! His birthday will be in four hours. Yes, Miss Mention. Good evening to you, Miss Mention. Miss Mention, are you the girl? Mm-hmm. Show Miss Mention the food. Miss Mention, you missed it. It's a poke bowl. I don't know if you've ever heard of a poke bowl, but it's just a bowl usually with raw tuna in a nice Asian sauce. Polynesian. Polynesian sauce. So we use watermelon, girl. You better believe we did watermelon. So this is purely vegan it yes. tastes so good this mention it tastes good nice i have to rewatch that video yeah. 
Anyway, back to the birthday. When I need to say happy birthday to you, I'm not hanging up till I say happy birthday. Every... One time for the birthday, boy. Hey. Hey. Two time for the birthday, boy. Hey. Hey. Three, Three time, time for the birthday, boy. Hey. Uh, 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 uh. Hey. Uh, 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 uh. Hey. 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 Where am I going? Sure. <laughs> My mouth is running water here. <laughs> uh, it's, uh... Guys, I cannot tell you no. Thank you, Home. Munchie. Munchie, say happy birthday to you. Thank you, Munchie. Thank you. Eat good TV. You're late. Eat good TV. Big up yourself. Blessings to you, Miss Mention. Say happy birthday to you. Thank you, Miss Mention. Miss Mention, guess what? You and Munchie are the first people on the radio to tell me happy birthday. Re. Re. That means that Uno are special. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Manchon says she need a detox. Okay, for the for the for the detox, I just added the number again, 305-204-1270. Just text that number and um let us know how many you need and we will tell you the payment arrangement and then you provide us with your name and number and where you reside. No, not your number. <laughs> your name and your address. And then we will sort it out. He has happy. Evelyn, thank you so much, Evelyn, for telling me happy birthday. And this is my birthday dinner. Official, Official Jamie. Jamie, are you late? Don't worry, Official Jamie. You're, you're okay. You can't be late sometimes because you're always early. Yeah, I forgot to watch it from the top. Cause... Official Jamie, we made a poke bowl using watermelon. It is crazy. Anika, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Big up, big up, big up to you. Mm -hmm. I feel so good. And guys, remember, my Yada Belly t-shirts are online. Just click the, the shop now page or click the where you see Yada Belly merchandise mm -hmm. and scroll and you see different types of t-shirts. Them look good and them nice and so you can buy one. And remember, me say, one time for the birthday, guy. Hey. Hey. Two time for the birthday. Hey. Ooh, three time for the birthday. Hey. One more time for the birthday. Hey. Ah. For his birthday, everybody watching now, just text the number and order a detox. Even if you don't give him any presents, you can buy one detox. I need a present, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Pay for the detox plus tax plus tip. But guys, I am super duper stoked right now with mm -hmm. this. Uh, going back to my Poke Bowl. Mm -hmm. I am super duper stoked. Mm -hmm. You understand? Because guess what? Watermelon? Watermelon? Mm -hmm. No, brother! No, Trust me, this one is a winner. Mm -hmm. Let me show you one more time. This is what he made it from. The watermelon with the Polynesian sauce. And then, bam, this was the end result. Anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching again. Catch us on Thursday morning at 10 a.m. for Breakfast Live. Yes, ma'am. Love your natural hair, Sister St. Hope. Thank you. Speaking of natural hair, you guys can get your hair products also at the same number. One True Natural, our Jamaican black castor oil, and our nourishing oil blend. And all these things keeps my natural hair popping. Popping Okay. In. okay. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, what's the cost? But text the number, man, Evelyn. Love you, Josh, boo. Bye, babe. Love you. Yeah, Evelyn, text the number 305-204-1270. Seven zero, free shipping in the U.S. You cannot beat that with a stick. Okay, okay, okay. Did I say okay? You ready to say bye now, Will? Yes. Thank you once again for the birthday wishes. We appreciate you and we love you. <laughs> and remember, make it Yardy Belly TV. Like, share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Yardy Belly TV is doing it. One time for the birthday. How much I gotta sing it for? Oh, I'm gonna sing it more. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, thank you once again so uh -huh. much for joining us, and we appreciate you all. And uh, you know, see you when I see you Thursday morning again for breakfast live. Thursday afternoon we go back on the radio for vitamin B, and of course the radio is Caribbean Radio HD Two dot com. Write it down. Caribbean Radio HD Two dot com every Monday and Thursday at five p.m. and Sundays at 7 a.m. for the Sunday morning service. Hallelujah. And remember, live and laugh, cook and eat. 
remember we tell you that Thank this you, mention, we will be looking out for your order and sorting it out so bye I love guys it, I love it, I love it. I love it.